Sorry, I just had to pass one of these egg timers on the road. This car is incredibly fast. There isn't any way to put it that will articulate this over words without anyone actually sitting in one of these and driving it. It's ridiculous. It is one of the fastest SUVs I have ever been in. There are not many cars that I would genuinely say after driving them for a couple hours, I want this. This is one of the cars I'm gonna say after an hour or two driving it, I know I want this car because it is so incredibly fast and so incredibly responsive, refined, tuned to be insanely quick. And on top of that, I'm comfortable. Now, I've driven the GLE 63S. This just far and away destroys whatever Mercedes is making in this class just easily. This engine is fabulous. Even though this thing weighs 5,500 pounds, it just, just keeps going. It's just that next level of amazing. It just reaches new heights. And when you think it's gonna give out, it doesn't give out 190 miles an hour. That top speed is insane, absolutely insane. Not to mention the fact that now you have the RS modes, which this car just pulls. It just doesn't stop. And these brakes are incredible too. They, they stopped this car on a dime. Eight piston calipers are no joke. These massive 16.5 inch brake rotors that are also drilled, no joke. They don't feel like they're gonna give out. They don't feel like you're gonna run out of stopping power. So this thing accelerates just as hard as it brakes, which leads to this insane experience. So on the outside of the RSQ8, and I mean, gosh, you really have to look at this car and everything that Audi has done to it compared to a normal Q8 because this thing is crazy. You have carbon fiber all over the front of the vehicle, all around the grill, and because this has the black optics package, you get the black Audi badges and everything like that. Carbon fiber in the bottom bumper down here. The carbon fiber on this car is absolutely insane. It's on the mirror caps, it's on the rear diffuser, it's all over the interior of the car. There's a reason this thing costs 140 thousand dollars and of course these beautiful audi led headlights right here when that do a dance whenever you lock and unlock the car they do really cool things as you can see right there if i unlock it it does a little thing with the turn indicators as well super super cool you have these 23 inch rims right here this also comes with the black optics package and this one has these massive brake rotors and brake calipers as well these are 16.5 inch brake rotors up front 14.6 inch in the back eight piston calipers up here huge amount of brakes considering this car has a top speed of 190 miles in an suv it's absolutely insane the metallic color it's called florette silver florette gray super super pretty and it matches really well the carbon fiber and the black optics package now let's talk about what's under the hood here because it gets even better than all the stuff that's just on the exterior of this car and of course we all know audi's on top of having great looking exteriors, have incredible engines as well. Now, under the hood of this thing, as you can see, you have a four liter twin turbocharged V8, it has a 48 volt mild hybrid system in here, 590 horsepower, 591 pound feet of torque. When car and driver tested this car, they did a zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds and a quarter mile time of 11.6 in an SUV that weighs over 5,000 pounds. What do you expect when you're spending $140,000 on this car? As for fuel economy, it's not great. You get about 15 miles per gallon combined, but because this thing has such a large gas tank, you get about 500 miles in range anyways. And if you're spending $140,000 on an SUV, you better be able to pay for the gas for it. But overall, at least the front and side of this thing is super, super aggressive and takes the Q8 to a whole nother level of amazing. Let's check out the back. As for the back of this car, of course, you have this massive light bar, which is standard on the Q8. More of this carbon fiber under that light bar 
with the black Audi badge up here and a black RS Q8 badge. Like I said, that rear diffuser has more carbon fiber on it, stuff that you wouldn't be surprised to see on this car at all. And this one has the tow package on it, which is a seven pin tow hook right here with 7,700 pounds in max towing capacity. Now let's talk about the back of this car real quick because it is an SUV. Cargo space matters on these. You get 30.7 cubic feet of cargo space back here. And just in case you need help getting things into the back of this car, even though the Audi Q8 isn't very tall at all, you can use these buttons in here to lower the air suspension or raise the air suspension to assist you in getting things in and out of the car. As you can see, I'm gonna lower it right now. And you can instantly see the back of the Q8 start to drop. And then whenever you want, you can press that button and it'll bring it back up again as so and it will start to raise it back up. Cargo cover, just in case you're interested in having that tie down points, 12 volt socket and a bunch of cargo nets, just in case you need to carry any high value items back here, they will be secure. And of course, it's an electronically closing tailgate. One thing I did forget to mention is about those tires though, wrapping those 23 inch rims, 295s all the way around because when you make that much power with an all wheel drive system, you need to make sure you are able to put the power down, which is really important for achieving that 3.2 seconds zero to 60. Now in the RSQ8, the magic starts when you actually start the car because a lot of things happen when you do that. If I press the start button in the center control stack, the first thing that you're gonna notice is that these tweeters for the Bang & Olufsen sound system actually rise out of the dashboard. And that is because this has a 23 speaker, 1920 watt audio system that kills every audio system in the car industry today. You can max out every level on the equalizer in this car you will not lose any sound quality because sending 2000 watts from an amplifier to your subwoofer and all your tweeters and things like that is exactly what you need to be able to blast the music at the loudest volume possible and still get crisp audio quality as if you were at the concert in real life. Incredible audio system. Audi offers it in multiple cars that they make, but Bang & Olufsen, you nailed it. Now, since the car's on, let's start talking about the things on the interior of this car, starting with the materials in here absolutely incredible the steering wheel is this golf ball style leather it feels really high quality easy to grip onto the leather on the dash is super soft and it's the same leather you actually get on the seats and the door flows into the dashboard to make you feel like you're in this cockpit which is really really nice carbon fiber all over the interior on the door around the center console all over the dashboard and you even have some in the back as well the seats are beautiful they're this diamond stitched hexagonal pattern you have on here with rs embossed into the seats they're the sport seats you can get active bolstering if you want that and these ones actually are massaging because this one has that executive package that you can get the massage function on these seats is awesome and these seats are also heated and cooled if you care about that Two. Now, as for tech in this car, Audi MMI, everybody knows what that system is. This system version has been around since about 2019, debuted in the A8, A6, A7. It's in this car, and the Q8s always use this system. Two screens in the center, just like on por the Porsche Taycan, you have one dedicated for climate controls and home link, everything like that. This one has dual zone climate control, and you have two separate fan zones for either person up front, and you have dual zone climate control in the back. Wireless Apple CarPlay wireless Android Auto, plenty of drive modes. And speaking of drive modes, we need to talk about those because you get plenty of them. Off-road, all-road, comfort, auto, dynamic. Of course, if you want to be sporty, you put the car in dynamic, put your foot down, it takes off. But on top of that, and I've made a video about this before, RS1, RS2. These modes are your configurable individual modes that you have on every RS car Audi makes. And you can configure a bunch of stuff in them if you go into the screen here press the configure button, drive suspension, steering, engine sound, and you can even configure the Quattro Sport differential. Also in that drive select screen, what you can do is actually raise and lower the suspension at your own will if you want. If you press the raise button, it'll actually start to raise the car. I don't know if you can see it going up. Cameraman Matias tells me the car is going up. In front of me is a digital gauge cluster. It's great. You have the map in there. You have different gauges based on the drive mode you're in. And the cool thing is here, if you have a certain option on this car, and I believe it is the technology package, you actually have traffic light assist, which will tell you when a red light is going to turn green. It will count down in seconds in the gauge cluster 
as to when the light is going to turn green. I have never seen any other car in my life do that. The Q8 is just built different, I guess. And speaking of other technology in here, if you own this car, what you can do is download the My Audi app on your iPhone or your Android, and you can actually remote park the car like you can with like Smart Park on a Hyundai or something like that. Bunch of safety tech as well. This one has adaptive cruise control, lane centering assist, lane keep assist. You have blind spot monitoring, of course, and surround view cameras for everyone to be able to see. Audi, you've killed it with this interior. I mean, I think the Q8 just represents everything Audi wants in their vehicles and the image that they want to display as a brand. A lot of you out there will still think this is the same as an Atlas Cross Tour, but hey, it might be, but it also beats your Honda Pilot, so. Now, it might be fun to drive these fast SUVs, but it's also fun to sit in the back of them because it is awesome back here. You would think with this being a coupe, you'd have no headroom, but I do have headroom, which is a stark difference from if you were to get an X6M, which has zero headroom in the back. But this also has tons of legroom, these massive backseat pockets, dual zone climate control, dual zone fan control back here, heated seats as well, two USB type C's, a 12 volt socket, this massive armrest, good enough for two people, with two cup holders that look like they'd fit a regular size Red Bull can, that's not very impressive. More carbon fiber, and you have these electronically roll up windscreens or uh, sunscreens right here that are really cool and they roll up pretty fast and they're nice and quiet. Plenty of window space right here, so you're never gonna get car sick in the back of this. Plus, it also has an ashtray. So if you're a smoker, you're in luck because you can open this up and ash your cigarette in there. The seats are also really comfortable, really high quality. RS is also embossed into the backrest of them as well, if you care about that. And these can fold down to reveal about 60.7 cubic feet of cargo space back here. I know $140,000 sounds like a lot of money, but you know what else is a lot of money? $230,000 for a Lamborghini Urus, which shares the same platform, the same engine, the same technology, and nearly the same interior. Not to say having a Lamborghini isn't cool, because of course it is, but when you're looking to save a couple bucks, and by a couple bucks, I mean $100,000 on an SUV when this one performs the same exact way, because let's all be honest with each other, the RS Q8 and the Urus are literally the same car with a different body. This just kills it. It makes so much sense. And because this one is used, this one's $100,000. And you get one of the best performing super SUVs on the market today with a super powerful engine, tons of aggressive body work and carbon fiber, and a beautiful interior. And who can forget that audio system that makes you want to sing like a choir. It's an amazing car, and it is definitely on the top of my list for the super SUVs I would purchase if I had the money, which I don't, so. But if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more from us, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.